Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to a brand new series on the Wii U, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. I've been waiting a long time for this game, and uh, I'm a huge fan of the Zelda series. So we're going to get right into it here. I'm going to play with the Wii U gamepad, and uh, as per tradition, uh, I like to name the hero Link, of course. So let's get right into it. Uh, I'm going to be playing on normal mode, because hero mode, as you can see here, you take double damage and you won't get any recovery hearts at any point, so it's supposed to be really tough, and uh, I don't know if I want to do that, so we're going in on normal mode. Uh, I'm a huge Nintendo fan, like I, I, you probably noticed from me playing Pikmin 3. I'm going to do the story here in a, a little old man voice, maybe. This is about one of the legends of which the people speak. Maybe this is the old man from the first game, but he's probably long dead. <laughs> long ago, there existed a kingdom where the golden power lay hidden. The Triforce, of course. And uh, this is basically telling the story of Ocarina of Time here. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. There's even a little Goron there, that's cool. Uh-oh. But one day, a man of great evil found the Golden Power and took it for himself. This is one of the best uh, songs in the series, I believe, because it's a nice little medley here of familiar tunes. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. Rut row. We need a hero. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand. What? Yes. A young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Man, there's nothing that inspires something deep inside of me like the Zelda theme. It's just a sense of adventure. It's overwhelming. Wielding the blade of evil Van Bane, he sealed the Dark One away and gave the land light. I love the little, like, tapestry things here with the Hylian language. And Link, you better hold on to that horse! <laughs> this boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the Hero of Time. He possessed the Triforce of Courage. So, uh, something's lurking on the side there. The boy's tale is passed down through generations until it became legend. And, uh, each, each boy known as Link is typically a different one in each story, if, if you've been following the Zelda series here. But then a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. ruh -ro, he can't keep Ganon sealed for long. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero decided to just pop out of the ocean and scare a bunch of people. <laughs> Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. There's some great alliteration in this. The people believed that the era of time would again come to save them. Look at those creepy eyes making the cities burn. Man, gotta pray to that Triforce or... Um, it didn't work. <laughs> but the hero did not appear. So this follows the split timeline uh, theory that's actually now canon thanks to Hyrule Historia. Uh, faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. So this follows the adult timeline from Ocarina of Time. And uh, basically, yeah, in that last hour of doom, or hour as Doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. So, nobody was here to save them from Ganon that second time. What became of that kingdom? None remain, who know? And then who is, who is this speaking? Who am I? <laughs> Maybe I'm just reading this tapestry. Oh, the memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. And the wind is very important in this game, as you might have guessed from the subtitle. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Oh, gotta keep that line going of heroes. And there is our Link with his cat eyes. <laughs> Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. They're, I can remember fond days picking up a cardboard tube wrapping paper roll and uh, smacking the couch like it was some type of beast. <laughs> the elders wished only for the youth to know courage like the hero of legend. And that is what we're going to need as we're going to journey through the Wind Waker here. Now this game came out in 2002 originally, I believe it's been, was it 11 years? Jeez, it's been a while. And it looks great in HD. I mean, it held up pretty good still with the cel-shaded graphics before, but having all the new shaders and, and HD and all this stuff going on, this just looks amazing. So I'm super excited to play this. Look at that glowing thing out there. Hey, br big brother! Oh, man. Seagulls, they're going after her! <laughs> she, luckily she got out of there. This is, uh, this is Link's little sister, Errol. 
Big Brother! She's got a nice little seagull telescope there. Fan of seagulls. It's probably why they're just mooching off her for food. It's like you start feeding them once and they keep coming back. And here is our hero, <laughs> sleeping in, I was gonna say lobster pajamas, but I think that's just his normal clothes. He's just, that doesn't look very comfortable, I don't know why he's up here sleeping. But of course, he's, he's doing the anime thing where he's just like, I'm a lazy hero. I gotta save the world, but maybe I gotta wake up and have some breakfast first. Because I forgot, because I'm a, a doofus. But he will become a hero, eventually. I knew you'd be here. Alright. Oh, look at those little rosy cheeks. Hee hee hee. This is my favorite spot to gaze out of the ocean. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Lookout. Oh. So, do you remember what day it is today? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just sleeping. <laughs> You're still half asleep, aren't you? Uh, did you forget? Oh, Big Brother, it's your birthday! Oh, <laughs> His expressions. This is the game where I think Link is the most expressive. That's why Grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. They always gotta emphasize stuff in Nintendo games. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Yeah, they always make sure you're pointed in the right direction in these types of games. So, I gotta get used to the gamepad. I actually played with the Wiimote when I played Pikmin 3, so we'll get used to it quick, though. Hurry up, big brother. Grandma's waiting for you at the back of the house, and I'm sure everyone else on the island wants to say hello to you, too. Alright, let's take a big old leap off this ladder. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, rolling into it apparently negated any fall damage. I'm not sure if that might be just out of the range of getting hurt from falling. We're going to take a swim in this beautiful cell shaded ocean and grab a rock. There we go. I'm dripping wet. So, yeah, uh, is that... <laughs> There's a kid on this island that has a serious snot issue, and I'm not sure if it's this one. It's been so... L I actually haven't played this game in, in such a long time. This is going to be really nice to go through it again with you guys. Hoi, Link! Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you can jump out of that rock there? Huh? Is it? Is it? Tell me! Jeez. Figure it out yourself. There's money sitting here, and he's not even doing anything about it. Let's see if I can do this. Yep, there we go. So we already got a few rupees. So one of the first changes here in the HD version, there's actually a lot of changes. It's not just an HD remake. They've they've done a, a bit of tweaks here. And the first one is that you can carry more rupees than before. I think it was 200 originally, and now you can carry like 500 at the beginning. I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Who? Uh, see, uh, the black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how much she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Link? No, you can't, can't just rub, run up on it. Pigs are too smart. Uh, alert their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold ZR to crouch and slowly blah blah blah. Yep. Okay. Could also distract it with bait, I guess. We don't have any bait, so we're gonna crawl in here. <laughs> I think I can. Yeah, I can zoom the camera around with the other stick. Do a little bit of pig hunting here. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just a little boy creeping up on you. There we go. All right, we got this little black piggy here. So we're going to take him up to his wife, which I think is over... Okay, we're coming back to that snot boy in a second. There's another little piggy. We could have gotten that one. Yeah, I think his wife's up here. There she is. <laughs> you could you could just see that it's a pig, a pig lover from the look on her face. Why? Did you bring me that little piglet all the way out here just for me? Oh, that hurts my voice. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The pigs will be so happy when they get home, you sweetie. Okay, Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spread it all in one place. Sweet. Things got dark, and I got a rupee. What a pleasant surprise. Why, this little darling's choose a button. You know, it's so cute that I wouldn't mind having even more of them. Give her kind of a mobster voice. Let's grab this other pig here. I think there might be more on the island, but... Oh, I think I can grab it without sneaking up to it if I'm quick. Oh no! Hoi, Link, press L, or ZR, L, right, that, whatever button. To, to, yeah. ZL. Look at this guy. He has a huge head. <laughs> That's correct, you're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. <laughs> that is a hate crime. You can target certain uh, objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks all far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can blah blah blah, so that's the camera. It's quite handy indeed. Mirror out of other ways. So there's lots of tutorials going on, but I'll try to go through this pretty quickly, because I don't wanna don't wanna bore you guys. I don't wanna get into the adventuring here. Ouch. Jeez. Link has got a hard head. Let's grab that pig. Come here, little piggy. I think I can get him without sneaking up on him if I'm quick. Come here, little guy. And there we go. We got him. I'll do one more pig here. Hello, jar woman. You've got quite alluring blue eyes. And we'll go see Grandma after this and keep the story going. 
Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time catching pigs. All right, give me some more money, lady. Got you another piggy. Where'd your other one go? Did you eat it? <laughs> Why did you bring me another piglet? Uh, were you all worried that the little guy would get lonely hanging out inside a fence all by himself? That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much for being us another family member. Here's a little something for you. There we go. Sweet. Man, she's playing top rupee for these pigs. You find any other little piggies in order to bring them. I wonder, I think there might be a heart piece or something for getting all of them, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. We're going to get going. I want to talk to Snotface Kid. <laughs> this is my favorite character on this island. Um, your grandma was calling for you, like, or so was my mom. Is that the piggy lady? Is this mom? I think so. Let's talk to Jar Lady real quick, too. Oh, Link, happy birthday. Hey, uh, did your sister Elle find you? She was supposed to tell you that your mother is looking for you. Hmm, speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day, and she, she wanted to learn how to carry jars on her head like me so she could help a gram with chores. So if you see her... Okay, just tell me how to pick up a jar. Can you tell her that for me? And I think there's... <laughs> immediately when she's holding a jar, I want to break it. So, like, if I can find a rock here, I could probably do it. Is there... There's a rock over here, isn't there? I think I can smash the jar right off her head if I, can, if I aim right. A little Easter egg for you guys. Sorry, I keep getting distracted, but I'll, I'll do this one thing, and then we're going to go. All right. Slam! <laughs> Thanks for the rupee! Man, made him a little mischievous. That's just terrible. My precious jars, how could you? Oh, jeez. She took like nine rupees from me. Okay, well. Oh, well. <laughs> or ten, maybe. That's what I get, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna head in and talk to Grandma here. Oh, almost rolled off the side. There's a little secret entrance there that I think we'll probably learn about later. Let's go see what Grandma wants. It is my birthday, after all. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. I feel like this is one of those games that's just, like, really cool to look at, you know, regardless of what's going on in it. Look at this. This is crazy. There's a little picture. Can I do a first-person view, I wonder? There's a picture of us hanging out in times past. Let's climb this ladder. Grandma, there you are, you old son of a gun. How's it going? Oh, I got my, my clothes here. I've been waiting for you, Link. Link. <laughs> That's your name, right? Try these on. I'm, I don't remember. Are you my grandchild? Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> like he's biting his lip. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. All right, let's get out of this uh, lobster pajamas. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is the day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. Look, oh, Grandma, she's so cute. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare for them to battle with enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one in the island who still knows anything about sword play. Grandma, are you hinting at something with your orange text? Hanging the family shield on the wall was decoration of another tradition that's been carried down from those days. There he goes. Man, she was blabbing on and on while he was getting naked. Does this all oh, this make sense to you? Aw, oh, Link doesn't look too thrilled to be a hero. Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly, a perfect fit. Well, tonight is going to I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mm, I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go and get your sister Errol. Grandma's soup is actually pretty impo important here. So, uh, alright. It's almost as important as mom's spaghetti. Let's get out of here. I think I can do this, right? If I roll into it, will these fall off? I think I can, yeah, we can just knock these off. I've, I'm making Link into a troublemaker. I gotta stop doing this. Alright, let's go, let's go find Errol and uh, further the plot here. And uh, promise me something exciting is about to happen pretty soon. So let's go through here. I mean, promise me. I promise you, of course. You, the viewers, I hope you guys are enjoying this new series here. If you come over... Oh, okay. So I can use bait to get more pigs, but... I feel like I, I didn't even need to sneak up on the one. I think I'm good. Just going after the pigs normally. Oh, look. It's not Face Boy. He's over here now. Hey, little guy. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! <laughs> of enemy fiercer than Ganon is the Snot Face Kid. So, so, so? So, aren't those clothes hot? <laughs> okay, you hitting on me? Or are you just uh, commenting about the weather, buddy? Ooh, what are you doing over here? Are you trying to get rid of all these little things with your stick? Hey, Link. Hey, congrats on uh, We're looking forward to the party, buddy. Uh, we're gonna party. But are you really that old already? Wow, time just flies right by, huh? It never ceases to amaze me. 
I mean, for example, I swear I just cut the grass in this field the other day, but look how tall it's gotten. Oh, uh, well, the mysteries of time and grass. Okay, so I'm going to need to get a, uh, a grass cutting tool to help him out there. Let's hop up. There's another piggy. Man, that's a third piggy. I think I can crawl under there and get some rupees. Where am I going? I need to go see Errol. I'm getting distracted by houses here. <laughs> and uh, she should be up on Errol's lookout. I wonder what the actual name is. She just claimed it for her own. I'm going to do a ladder boss here. Pull on a snake eater. And climb it up. But I can swing the camera around. You guys can see beautiful outset island. This is crazy. I'm very excited to play this once again. I actually remember very little from this game, so <laughs> this will be a new experience again, sort of. Ah, hoi, big brother. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? She did. But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. Everyone keeps commenting on that. <laughs> I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyways, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. It's a live seagull. Happy birthday. There it is. We got the tele... Oh, look at Errol's face. She's the most adorable character. Maybe other than Grandma. I got the telescope. This is my sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. So we get to borrow this just for today. We'll never get to use it again. So, well, do you like it? Uh, I'll let you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Hee hee hee. Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking all over the house from here. All right. Let's set it to one of my buttons and put on Y. So the gamepad is basically just the inventory, and I can play this completely off-screen if I wanted to, but obviously I'm going to record this, so I want to put it on the, uh... Oh, what's going on on the post office here? Let's zoom in. I think I just... Yeah, I zoom in with this one. Sorry. There we go. What's going on? So I think these guys are called Ritos. They're like a, uh, a bird people. I'll talk more about them later. Postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Ah, Link! Look up in the sky! What's going on? Whoa! It's a big old Boyd. And he's got somebody in his talons. Look at those talons. They look great in HD. I mean, th there's a person in there. That's probably what we should be <laughs> focusing on. Somebody's shooting rocks at it. It's a gang of fierce pirates. But they're not fierce enough to have an actual cannon. They're just catapulting rocks at it. Man. Alright. If we can if we can get that, that Boyd, then uh, we can maybe save the girl. And Link can get a girlfriend. He is coming of age, so it's about time. He's found a lucky lady. Whoop! <laughs> if for all that time he could have gotten out of the way, I, this has like uh, a nice, like comical, you know, anime look to it, as you probably noticed with the cell shading. So there is a lot of like really cool expressions, and and Link especially is very expressive. I think I mentioned that before, but his eyes look at like everything. Link, this is so terrible. The girl that fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Alright, so we gotta go find something to defend ourselves with and go save the lady. Oh, yeah, see, we didn't get hurt. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Things are gonna heat up in the second episode, so leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time for more Zelda Wind Waker HD. Excuse me, snot face kid, I'm trying to do an outro. See you guys next time. <laughs> Goodbye.